Thank you very much. This is a far cry from five years ago. For those of you from the press who were here five years ago, I seem to recognize at least one person was there. Um, you know, pretty much whatever we did in UKIP, nobody was bothered about. We were the also ran party. But what a difference five years have made. Things have changed massively for us. We have got here 40 candidates covering the whole of Wales. 40 men and women who are dedicated to getting Britain out of the EU. Who are showing that Wales is as much a part of the UKIP story as anywhere else in the British Isles. And in fact, the wonderful election campaign we ran last year, where we came within just 4,300 votes of turning the whole of Wales purple, shows that the people of Wales are as Eurosceptic and are as fed up of the ping pong politics of the Conservative and Labour Party as we are. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to present our manifesto for Wales. And it's a manifesto that we can all be proud of. When we go to the men and women in the street, or when we're knocking on doors, we can hold our heads up high. And we can show them this manifesto because it is the only one that is fully costed. We are not making wild dreams. We are not trying to buy anybody's vote. What we're saying is, the time for realism is now. The time for a party that actually will speak the truth to the electorate is now. And of course, the other parties are quite happy to make all of these very wild um, promises to the electorate because they know that there will be a coalition government. It is impossible, according to the polls, for either the Conservatives or Labour to, to win outright this election. And what we know, what we've witnessed before in the past, is that when those people who voted Conservative or Labour say to them, but it was in your manifesto, why aren't you doing it? They will weakly say, well, it's because our coalition partners won't allow us to do that. They've already got their plan B. We need to let people know that there is somebody who will stand up for this country. There is somebody who will stand up for the voters who feel that nobody dare say what they want us to say. Nigel is the bravest man I know. He faces daily hostility. He faces daily lies. But it's politics, isn't it? We're in the, we're in the business of politics. I guess we should, should expect it. It's a shame, though, isn't it, that in 21st century Britain, that politics has got to the point where you have renter mobs stopping one person from being able to go and meet his electorate where he is standing, but anybody else can walk down the street and do that, regardless of what party they stand for. That is an absolute shame. And we want a return to, to politics in Britain where people can be proud, proud of their communities, proud of the people that represent them, because we come from those communities, because we represent the people, we don't whip in UK. And that's something that a lot of people don't understand and haven't taken, taken into consideration. But we're the only party that says that our MEPs, our councillors, and our now MPs, we're the only party that says, you vote with your conscience. You vote the way that your electorate would expect you to vote. I know that we are, we are being told that UKIP is not doing as well as we were a few months ago. I think opinion polls are being used as a political weapon. If opinion polls were an exact science, every single opinion poll would be exactly the same, wouldn't they? But they're not. They wildly fluctuate. What I do know is this. From the reports that I get back from our candidates all over Wales, from when I go out campaigning throughout Wales and throughout Britain as well, I know that we are in the exact same place that we were a year ago. 
where men and women are coming up to us and they themselves are saying that they are going to vote for us, that they have had enough with the Conservatives or Labour, whoever they've got right now. We absolutely are at a point in history where things are changing and each of you are part of that change. And I'd just like to thank you on behalf of myself, from the leader of UKIP Wales, and on behalf of Nigel Farage as well, and also on behalf of those people who want to vote UKIP and you have enabled them to do that. Thank you very much.